Hey everybody, my name is Tim O'Neill. I'm a, I'm a teacher and an artist. Um, I am, I just enrolled in the mastery program, of Milan Art Institute mastery program. And uh, I decided, I, actually I'm in work, uh, week three, but I decided I was going to go ahead and try to actually vlog about this. Um, I found the, the classes so far to be really, really difficult. Um, but having said that, I'm learning a tremendous amount of new material and um, it's all pretty much really new to me. Um, I never really learned to, to draw and paint with classical methodology. So anyway, um, I, I'm, this is, uh, I'm going to do week one here. I'm actually in week three, but I'm going to try to catch up the last couple weeks here. And um, maybe by the time I get to week four or five, I'll actually have um, all the other weeks together and be caught up. So um, just wanted to introduce myself. And um, if you're interested in the Milan Art Institute Mastery Program, you can follow along and kind of find out what it is going to be about. In this first week, I do not have all of the drawings and I don't even have video of me doing everything. I should have that moving forward, but in week uh, one, I do not. So you'll just see the pictures of um, what I did and that'll be that. So it'll be a little bit thin um, this first week, but hopefully after that, it'll get a little bit better as I move along in terms of content. So that's it. Thank you for joining me. And here is week one. Okay, so what we'll do here uh, is just do a little voiceover with uh, the imagery that I do have. And I, I did find some video, but um, starting first, this image is uh, the rooster that I chose for reference. They have a, a, an entire page that LA has put together for, for each lesson, it looks like. And you could choose uh, a number of different pieces. I, we have chickens at our place. I like roosters, so I grabbed this guy. And um, then what I did was I just pulled it into Photoshop and I made a black and white reference for myself because um, I, I've not painted this way before. And so I was a little bit nervous about um, being able to see the values properly. So I just pulled it into Photoshop, did a little tweaking, put a 10-step uh, wedge up at the top um, to give me an idea. And then I moved on from there. Let's see, what is what is next here? Okay, so what this, this will give you an idea of um, the images I was working on it. I have my reference black and white photo up there. And then I coated the canvas with, I think I used Van Dyke Brown. And um, initially just nothing but Van Dyke Brown on there. And then you um, were to start reducing, um, which was really, really interesting because I had not drawn uh, anything like that before, painted anything like this before. And so you start with a canvas that is totally brown. And um, then without drawing anything on it, you just start finding your image. And you start taking paint away from that. And this is kind of what you end up um, end up with is this black and white or brown and white in this case image that hopefully has a fairly representational value in it and hopefully um, you're close enough with where everything is you know specific to scale and proportion. Um, I did find it really easy because when you make a mistake um, you just put some more paint on there. It was really kind of cool. It was really fun. And you could get these nice um, soft tones. I really did enjoy that method of um, working and putting an underpainting together. Here's just a little close up of um, my rooster um, at this stage. Next, I did um, a pheasant as well, because I mean, I don't know, I guess one wasn't enough. So I went ahead and did a pheasant as well. This is, um, uh, and, and it was the same process. So then what I did 
what was next was you come in with glaze and you would just lay down glaze um, and that's the imagery that you see here um, and of course all the glaze was transparent and you I wasn't trying to really match colors um, I kind of wanted to use some of my own colors and I wanted to be I, I I'm not really representational 100%, so I wanted the impression of <laughs> a rooster, and I wasn't really going after the exact colors. And even if I was, I don't think I could have done that without quite a bit of uh, quite a bit more time in it. And so close was good enough for me. I did not necessarily want to replicate it exactly um, specific to color. I did want a fairly good representation of it. Um, uh, the way that it looked in terms of scale and proportion. Um, and the chicken, I mean, the rooster, he's okay. The pheasant is a little bit lacking. He's kind of a little bit rough. But after that step of glazing, then the next thing we did was we came back in and laid the opaques down and kind of finished up, uh, you know, fixed anything that was not laid out properly. Uh, it wasn't proportioned properly or whatever. It didn't look right. You could fix it. And then you just went ahead and laid in the um, opaque colors and kind of finished it up. And that's what I have here going on in this video. So that's it. That's kind of the end of week one. So thank you for joining me. I, I hope you come back and um, move along with me as I progress through this program. It's very interesting. Uh, it's, it, it is amazing the way that they teach, and um, I have an incredible mentor. John is my mentor. Um, if you do this course, um, I would highly suggest that you um, not only get the mentor group, but spend the extra money and go ahead and get a mentor because they will help you immensely. Okay, that's it. Have a great day.